Hey everybody, it's gone down. Oh. Yeah it is, it's on. Sorry about that everybody. We got a rookie Mr. Malcolm on the camera. <laughs> the rookie. <laughs> we are coming to you from the middle of the outback. <laughs> Central Australia. Kinda looks like it though. I bat around and give them a view. This is just absolutely the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it looks like this road movie. Oh, there's a nice house. See, that's a fixer up there. Sam. We've been checking out some property. We've seen it from sale sign outside this ghost town. A couple miles back. So, did you have fun, John? Yes, I did. It was a good time. We had an awesome time. That MV-11 crashed. That great big old MV-11. We had yeah. already had videoed it once, so I didn't worry about videoing it the second time. He was coming in for a landing with his flaps down. And crashed. They fell right out of the sky, did it? Stalled it, yeah. Lucky he didn't hit the motocross guys jumping off of the, yeah. jumping on the hills. Then we, we was filling John's F-16 up and I don't know if we cracked the tank or what. Fuel dumping out everywhere. So, and then F-18 on the end of the dang truck. Them screws didn't have no Loctite. So I have more screws vibrate out in these trailers. Put the screws vibrated out of the rudders. And man, we had a heck of a time. It took us all day between me and <laughs> No, we worked on it all day, dang there. Yep, Thursday. Tried to get a flight on it Thursday, yeah. but uh, didn't get it, so we couldn't fly it during the meet. Couldn't fly it at the meet. But that's okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we got all summer. I think the hog, man, it's going to be. I finally opened the F-16 up. Was anyone videoing? I know, I think. Yeah. Uh, we all need yeah. to get a shout out to uh, J-5. J-5. Came out, yeah. gave us a hand all weekend. He's a pretty nice guy. See, there's a nice one. Fixer yeah. upper. Yeah, all it needs is walls, the side ceiling, and the foundation. No, really, man. We are in New Mexico. About halfway through it, three quarters way through it. There's just nothing. There's nothing out here. Nothing. So it's next gas station as soon as they get petroleum. <laughs> as soon as they invent it. <laughs> it's kind of like, like, uh, what's that show? What's it? Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not going to have gas for another 160 man, I'll years. Tell you what? That internet at that hotel, we went back 10 years, man. I don't remember my dial up being that slow. I couldn't even watch none of my movies at that hotel. We had to, it took so long to download and we kept getting booted off. I still got some more of the Bobo Camp pictures. I got a bunch of them. But they took too long to download. And I had to do the YouTube or the planes flying off my camera there all night long. Put them in when we went to bed because they took forever. And then I didn't have my computer to do the Bobo camp. So I got some more of them. There was a couple times I was up there with five, six other jets, man. No, five's the limit, ain't it? Five, someone, there's five, yeah. yeah someone was yeah. asking uh, how many jets can be in the air at one time. No more than five. Yeah. But I tell you, that was an awesome jet meet. There was a lot of jets there. A lot of times you get to these big meets like this, and there's a big wait in line to fly, man. You gotta pull your plane up there and just stand. Sometimes four or five people deep in each pilot box, and there's five, you know? So that's 50 people waiting to fly. This one was great. You wanted to fly, you pulled your stuff right to the starting box. Sometimes you'd have to wait a few minutes at the flight line for someone to land or someone to take off, but it was great. The air bosses controlled her real well yes, too, I did. think. The air bosses did a good job. I can 
get a thumbs up to them boys from Phoenix. Pretty much drama free. Except that dang drawing. They were supposed to be giving away a turbine for the pilots for a $20 raffle ticket. So I bought a raffle ticket, John bought a raffle ticket, everyone there bought some raffle tickets. Then they said, we're gonna have the drawing in five minutes for a brand new turbine. We was all happy, man. We had a pretty good chance of winning that thing. Then they came up and said, never mind, was giving them one twenty back, and I don't understand what happened. They didn't get enough raffle tickets sold to pay for the turbine. No, that guy said probably. it was something else, but oh. I didn't understand what he was well, saying. Well, that's probably what, that's what the deal was, though. But, they didn't make enough money on it, probably. Yeah. But you, he came up to us, he goes, there's only eight tickets in this box. You got a pretty good chance of winning. Bam, here got the game, 20 bucks. $20 for a turbine? Shoot. It was a 38 pounder, too. Yeah, King Tech 7, 170. Yeah, 170. 180. So I don't know the story on that, but oh well. We still had a good time. They fed us good. Three more minutes. And uh, what else? What other questions do we have, John? Oh, someone was wanting uh, Hey! Me and John from our website has got a camp planned 